It has been called Louisville's darkest day, a day of disaster and the most tragic day in Kentucky's history. For Louisville, on April 3rd, 1974, it all started right here. Now the wind damage hit the roof of Freedom Hall and it tore three big holes in the roof. Then it moved over on the eastern uh, end of the building and ripped off about a third of the roof here. Someone yelled into where I was, that, come look at this. And I just took about four or five steps and I could see out the front of the terminal building and, at Stanford Field. And I just saw a shaft over, black shaft over Freedom Hall. It wasn't like the little small tornadoes you would see. This thing was so huge. The tornado tore across Eastern Parkway and Bardstown Road. All those tall poles, those 80 foot poles, every one of them was just snapped and just laying across the road. It looked like a war zone. The twister ripped a path of destruction through Seneca and Cherokee parks, taking down every tree in sight. Meanwhile, in Crescent Hill, the Denker family was settling in for the night. Well, besides watching TV, I just remember how dark it became outside. It was huge, it was black. I don't remember it twisting or anything. I just remember seeing it and in the house I went and got mom. I just yelled, get to the basement. And so everybody ran. My grandparents and I just made it to the bottom of the steps and to the storeroom just when it hit. You can hear things moving around, uh, things breaking, but you're in the storeroom trying to stay alive. It's heard it, felt it. I mean, the house was rumbling. Other victims say, they say you hear that, that uh, roar, and I definitely heard the roar. I mean, it just sounded like a train sitting on top of the ceiling. I mean, just a huge wind tunnel, you could, you could just feel it over top of you. And that's all you could hear, you couldn't hear anything else. Big sycamore tree in the yard next door fell on the house, which when the tree fell, it blew out the walls, it blew out the windows, it made paint chips fall from the ceiling. The rampage continued into Indian Hills. I looked down the street and it was just total, complete devastation. It was probably maybe about a 400, 500 uh, yard swath, but everything in that was just total destruction. Uh, my son at the time was here with his mother and uh, to get out of the house, they had to climb over some trees to get out a window. And when, when we came back up from the basement, uh, literally, it took us, but my mom had to get her arm and get the door open. There was so much debris. Literally, the, the, the basement doors on one end of the house, and we actually had to crawl through stuff. And we actually ex exited this window over here at the other end of the house. When we came up, I have such a visual memory of everything was just destroyed. I remember being so scared <coughs> that um, you thought another tornado was going to come any minute. I just said, don't cry. I said, we'll make it. The Louisville tornado traveled 20 miles from near the fairgrounds and through the east end before lifting into western portions of Oldham County. In total, three people were killed by the storm with more than 200 others hurt. Some say if it wasn't for the damage reports from Brandenburg and southern Indiana, the death toll would have been much higher. I always thought, uh, kind of in my mind, that the people in Brandenburg uh, paid the price and saved a lot of people in Louisville.